Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many Azure SQL users encounter. Our viewer is experiencing unexpected results when using the four JSON path clause in their SQL queries. Let's dive into the specifics. Our viewer is using Azure SQL Server 2016 and has noticed a significant drop in the number of rows returned when adding four JSON path to their query. While the original query returns 244 rows, the JSON output only shows 33 rows and the JSON object appears truncated. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with the 4JSON path clause in Azure SQL. When you run your query without this clause, you receive the expected number of rows. The 4JSON path clause is used to format the result set as a JSON object. However, it can sometimes lead to unexpected results, such as fewer rows or truncated JSON output. Now, let's look at your SQL query. You are selecting multiple columns from the CountryDB table. When you add 4JSON path, it seems to limit the output. One common reason for receiving fewer rows is that the JSON output may be limited by the maximum size of the JSON string. Azure SQL Server has a default limit for the size of JSON output. To resolve this, consider checking the maximum JSON size settings or simplifying your query to ensure it fits within the limits. You can also use the Include Null Values option to include all rows. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the correct number of rows when using 4JSON in Azure SQL, it's important to use print instead of select. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To address the issue of fewer rows returned by 4JSON in Azure SQL, it's recommended to separate concerns by returning a string and parsing the JSON later. This approach allows flexibility in choosing a JSON deserializer. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The SQL query result using 4JSON path returns a long string divided into multiple blocks. Each block corresponds to the maximum size of a SQL column. To handle this, you can collect all the blocks into a list. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your query returns more than 2,033 characters, it will split the data into multiple rows. Each row contains up to 2,033 characters, 
so you'll need to merge them to get the complete JSON. To handle this, you can use a loop to concatenate the JSON strings from each row into a single result. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.